Taxi operations in Cape Town have resumed. This comes after rival associations reach an agreement. Routes that were closed after more than 80 people were killed in taxi violence are now operational. Last week, UDM leader Bantu Holomisa and SAFTU's uh, General Secretary Zulin Zemavavi tried to broker a deal. Let's discuss the latest developments now with the UDM leader. Mshegazi, uh, good afternoon. Uh, Dan Moyani here. I hope you can hear me. Are you able to, see, to hear me? We'd like to see you as well. Uh, are you able to hear me, Mshegas? Yes, I can hear you, Pratan. Uh, yeah, well, good afternoon and, and, and welcome. Uh, I want to say, first up, congratulations and well done, because uh, from afar, one has heard about the pivotal role you particularly played. Yes, you were assisted by Zuelid Mavavi, but he himself has given you the kudos for assisting in brokering this uh, taxi peace deal in Cape Town. Well, I've noted your, 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 your congratulations, but uh, I hope that uh, the peace deal we negotiated with the taxi associations as well as the government, because government has to play a role will hold uh, normally these deals are signed but uh, you'll find that uh, almost a year or so after that people still continue fighting but it looks as though the guns are silent uh, currently and i hope that uh, we can sustain that what changed here uh, what made this agreement possible because there have been attempts before in the past especially between Qatar and Cordetta there have been some agreements signed in the past what was different this time around that ensured they put pen to paper before we can discuss a little bit further what you hope will be done next Well, I think uh, this time around we get into details as to and also identify the main problem for the current uh, um, uh, incidents. And we could manage to summarize what Carter is saying about Codeta, vice versa. And we could also identify the role of the state what the state should do in the, in the meantime to solve this problem. Uh, one of the problems was, to, was around the issuing of permits. And I hope that uh, the Ministry of uh, Transport, as well as uh, in particular the local, uh, rather the, 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 the MEC, will stick to what we suggested as a Bible to make sure uh, that uh, this thing in the short, medium and long term is solved once and for all. If they look at the document we produced there with those associations, they can replicate the same document uh, in other provinces where there are similar problems. So the issue of these uh, conflicts uh, sometimes uh, involves, yes, the associations, but uh, the role of the state also tend to uh, aggravate the situation. Okay, so what should happen next from what you've answered suggests that the issue of permits must be handled differently and properly. And uh, Mr. Daylene Mitchell, the MEC for transport in the Western Cape and other transport authorities need to attend to that properly. But what were the other issues between the taxi associations? Because we in the media, from the outside, when we're reporting, we talk about it's a fight over lucrative routes. It's about money. Uh, that's part of that. That's business. That's why other people would be found that they were operating without permits. But more importantly, when the government announces uh, these uh, deals related to COVID-19. They need to make sure that uh, the money reaches the relevant people. So far, the taxi industry were also complaining about non-committal or the uh, of fulfilling.
those promises which were made. So there's a lot of issues. Uh, there's a government's commitment, or first, how they handle the payments, the government's commitment currently with the pandemic relief support that's being provided to different economic sectors. And we know how important the taxi industry is, is in terms of, 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 of our economy. Now, did you find that Qatar and Codeta were actually open to finding a solution? Because this violence has been very costly. People have lost lives. They were open, and uh, I was impressed with the spirit of handling the, the meet, joint meetings. Uh, one, one has to be careful when you are handling these matters. Sometimes there are those who would be happy that uh, the peace is about to be reached, and they tend to uh, distort the image of these talks where people would go and 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 shoot at other people uh, because they wanted to this problem to escalate. So the element of third forces who've got uh, their own different agendas has to be accommodated and be seen by the security forces. That's where the intelligence then has to kick in and they make sure that the uh, Minister of Transport Mr. Mbalula and MEC and the taxi leadership uh, get a proper intelligence briefing as to who is behind these killings. Because they might have started one day, but uh, the whole program has been hijacked by uh, third forces. Now, uh, General, are you confident that uh, this deal will hold this time? Or as you said at the start, it's easy to sign a deal, but to sustain it is a big challenge. I'm fully confident. I was uh, happy at least uh, with the response of the, of the government. They responded with uh, more details. And uh, as opposed to say to them, them, the taxi association must go and find a solution themselves alone. But there have been some commitments from, this, from the government side, and especially the issues related to security and fixing the issue of permits. Okay. Now, finally, pardon my ignorance. Uh, when I saw the story from far that uh, uh, General Bantolomisa is going to Cape Town to intervene and help solve the taxi violence, I wondered why. Did, what, because from what I know, you've never been part of the taxi industry, or am I wrong? What made you to pick up your hand and say, I'm going to assist? <laughs> Maybe when I retire one day, I'll buy a taxi for myself to, <laughs> in order to sustain myself. But on a serious note... Uh, I've been uh, involved in the taxi, uh, solving taxi feuds as early as 1992 uh, between Lagunya and another group in Western Cape in Cape Town. And then I advised them that they must form one association. That's where Codeta was established. And uh, when I went to Cape Town, I went there because I was requested by both uh, associations, they felt comfortable if I, I'm, I'm part of finding a solution. And also I was happy to hear that they have invited uh, Mr. Vavi. And uh, we leave everything now to our young boy, uh, Max. He still has an energy, so he must uh, make sure that uh, all what he announced yesterday is put in motion. The young boy, that's the Minister of Transport, Figile Mbalula. Thank you very much. I guess the level of trust that uh, you, you, you built over the years since 1992 uh, assisted a lot. And let's hope this taxi agreement uh, does, uh, uh, does last. Finally, I'm going to take this opportunity. I know my producer, Aisha, is not going to be happy. While I have you as a leader in the country, uh, I'm not asking you, I know it's going to be difficult maybe to separate yourself to take that head off as a UDM leader. But as a leader in the country, when you post in the aftermath 
of the looting and the violence we saw in July that ravaged parts of Gauteng and KwaZulu-Natal and the efforts we are seeing being done now, when you look into the immediate future of the country, what do you see? Uh, well, <clears throat> we are hopeful that uh, we will recover the lost ground. And in doing so, I hope that uh, the president, as the, as the commander-in-chief, will make sure that in future his security forces, their state of readiness must always be checked and that uh, those institutions are headed by people who are serious and who understands the, the field. Uh, for them to witness, uh, I mean, rather to witness uh, this infighting in public, accusation of another ministry and so on by the top leadership. Those people should have long been shown the door. But as you know, we have a government of no consequences. So we understand where they come from. But I hope it's a wake up call for President uh, uh, Ramaphosa. Thank of you course, the, once the Constitutional Court has pronounced I think it, during that period after that, the political debate will kick in as to how do we handle other cases which are being accused of having been uh, the responsible for the mayhem we witnessed. Thank you. Uh Thank you very much, uh, General Bantu Holomisa there. We were speaking to him about his role in enabling the agreement that has ended uh, the current taxi violence we've seen in the Western Cape uh, between the associations Qatar and Cordetta. But as a leader, at the end, there, I wanted to ask him for his views. How does he see the immediate future following the mayhem of the unrest and violence we saw in July in the country?